Hello guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Breaking news. President Muhammadu Buhari, AGF Malami, heading to prison. As the International Criminal Court, ready to hear Namdekano Extra Honorary Redemption Case, Fight by Bruce Fem. The International Criminal Court has notified the United States Council to Namdekano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Bruce Fem, that the suit he filed against the Nigerian government is substantiated by probable cars. Fem gave the update on Monday on his Twitter handle about the suit he filed against the Nigerian government, including Abubakar Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, and the Minister of Justice, Justice Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court, Abuja, and Justice John Taho, the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court before the International Court. International Criminal Court, I beg your pardon. The U.S. lawyer, Bruce Fem said he had obtained a notice from Karim Assad Ahmed, the ICC prosecutor, which said his complaint are substantiated by probable cause. Sahara reporters had earlier reported that Fem filed a criminal complaint against the three legal authority for conspiring with President Muhammad Buhari and Kenya President Kenyatta to commit crimes against humanity, vice versa. His client rearrest in the East Africa country in 2021 and subsequent transfer to Nigeria through extraordinary redemption. The tweet reads, June 10, I received notice from the chief prosecutor, the CP of the ICC, that my genocide crimes against humanity complaint against the AG, AGF Malami, George Iyako, CJ, Tahu are substantiated by probable cause. Further, the CP investigation after three judge vetting justice cannot be at first. So with this, um, Nigerian government, we understand that um, what they actually did was wrong. The extraordinary redemption of Mazen and the Kano and the torture and all that. You cannot be treating someone as a criminal unless you have or court has proved that is a criminal. But the way the Nigerian government is actually treating the high public leader Mazen and the Kano is, is, is unfair. Come to uh, to think about the way the government is treating Boko Haram terrorists and the bandits in the country. Now, uh, giving huge treatment to uh, a freedom fighter is is really very very unfair. I believe this is not going to be easy for President Muhammad Buhari and the uh, AGF Malami. They will answer. They are case. Now, so life be. Then they talk, say, anything one person do, you go rip them. You understand? Nigeria must, must do the right thing. They should learn how to do the right thing. You understand? Until they learn how to do the right thing, we will not move from where we are. And that is the reason why we are still here today. We do things that is not right. Starting from the very first time they proscribed IPOP as a terrorist organization. Starting from when Nigerian government deployed soldiers to Mazen Nam the house in 2017, December, uh, September, and killed about 28 persons in that invention. And that was led what well, that is what led to Mazen Nam the parents' death. They have not ceased of killing innocent Igbo youths and all that in the name of fighting IPOB agitators and all that. This is not how to go about things. 
Agitating for one's freedom is not a crime, even they that serve the other standard. The constitution of Nigeria is not against it, but the way the Nigerian government is going about it is escalating the whole issue. What stops government to sit around table and discuss with agitators? Listen to their plight because they are not just talking blah blah blah, they are making sense. They are, say, they, are, they, they are talking, they are sending message. Instead of you killing people, instead of you fighting agitators, can't you just listen? Can't you just listen to them and get to the root of agitations? That is how, you know, you do things. The same thing they are doing in the Southeast. That is what, you know, they carry to the Southwest. On the person of uh, uh, Sunday, Bowu and all that. This is not fair. You understand? Now, Nigerians have been asking the federal government to release Mars in Namdekano. They are not seeing it like it's important to do so. Look at what is going on today in the Southeast. Like what I always say, that the federal government lackadaisical like attitude towards insecurity in Nigeria is really very, very suspicious. So, if by at this particular time, the government have not still understand that once Mazin Namdekanu is released, those criminal, you know, uh, springing up from nowhere in the name of agitating for Mazin Namdekanu's release, they will cease because nothing will shade them again. They are taking the advantage of agitation in the, uh, agitation in the South is to commit crime. But the federal government do not want to understand, you know, to release Mazin Namdekanu. Anyway, they said, um, Whatever we do on earth, one day we must we must repeat. You understand? So the way the whole thing is going now, the federal government will now understand that uh the international criminal court will eventually invite them and they should get ready for that. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Bye for now.